Um, hi, I'm Natasha, um, and I'm from India, and I grew up speaking English. It was my first language, um, which is strange in a country that like has a different language in every single uh, state and a different sort of culture. Um, it's mostly because I think my mom grew up in a different uh, country. She grew up in Jamaica, and so there are a lot of um, gaps in in my in what I associate as my cultural identity as like an Indian. Um, um, speaking English a lot of the times um, in India, like amongst certain people, makes me feel um, makes me feel like I'm in limbo between being Indian and like something else, but I'm not quite sure what. Um, but, um, crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like really bad in front of cameras. It's okay. Um, but, um, yeah, when, when, when you're in India, there's a, a big divide between, um, people, um, from different, from different, like, social classes. When you're in an urban area, you talk to most people in English. When you get into a cab, when, when you see that the person is more traditional, you talk to them um, mostly in Hindi or whatever the regional language is, if you if you know it, and um, it it makes you feel more Indian in a in a really strange way. Like you get into a cab and you're like, "Hanji bhaiya, go yahan jana," and then you talk about like, um, you know, um, like the cricket matches, and then like, uh, I don't know, look outside and like swear at people, <laughs> and you know, sometimes when you're in a cab. Especially in Mumbai because everyone's so vibrant. You know, you, if you can speak Hindi, you talk to them and like, uh, you know, ask them about "Apka paivar hai," "Kya ap cricket dekhte ho," "Cigarette pina hai," and then you both have a cigarette and hide from the cops. It's kind of, it's fun. It's it's a good bonding experience uh, with people. Um, and then and then you get out of the cab and you you meet your friends and you talk to them in English uh, and maybe a few Hindi words here or there but it's mostly English um, and in some ways it makes me feel um, I don't know a little less Indian but um, but because of the way that we speak English that I speak English with them um, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's less foreign at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, but when I go to England and I have friends there and I have friends in Europe, um, and because I go to college here, you know, friends from all over the place, um, and we all speak to each other in English, the tones are different and sometimes the sentence constructions and mannerisms and um, it's strange. Um, it's something you have to adjust to, but um, uh, yeah, it, it it doesn't. But once I think that once you've understood that and you adjust to it, you can be more yourself and get to know other people. And I think uh, sometimes it's a barrier and sometimes it's a bonding factor. So yeah.